Hi, my name is Fiona and I'll be going over how to set up your OBS for Floor 48 of Tower of Oz. To get right into it, here are the things you will need. You will need OBS Studios and the Tower of Oz Floor 48 minimap image file, of which I will provide in the description below. Once you have OBS downloaded, check the plus sign to access the source list and choose the following. You will need one image source, two window captures, or game capture depending if you play in window mode or full screen. Once created, right click on the image source and select properties. From there you will see this window. Select browse and navigate to where you have saved the minimap file and then click OK. Once the image has been selected, make sure it's a PNG file and that the background is transparent to avoid issues. Next, right click on the image source again and go to transform, edit transform, or select image source and press Ctrl E. Once there, input and select all the options you see on the provided image. Do not touch the position settings. For the source that you use to capture your MapleStory client, input and select these specific settings. Once again, making sure to not touch the position settings. Once done, this should be what you see when you're in the main lobby of the Tower of Oz map. Make sure on OBS that both the image source and one of the sources you have used for your MapleStory client are both aligned in their upper left corner. To get your minimap and the game capture to have only your character and the minimap show up with no miscellaneous images, make sure you have the following setup. First, put the image source and the capture source you chose into a folder called a group. Right clicking on the group you made for your image and game capture, select filters. From that window, click on the plus sign in the bottom left corner and select chroma key. The only thing you need to do in the chroma key window is to select key color type and set it to blue. If you are playing in the same resolution as I have on the screen right now, be sure to use these specific crop settings for your MapleStory capture source of choice. Here are some potential issues you might encounter if this is your first time using OBS. If you are unable to see MapleStory on your OBS, try using both Game Capture and Window Capture. This is because you're either playing in Window or Full Screen, of which both sources react differently for both. After you're done setting everything up and Floor 48 platforms don't seem to be where they are on the minimap, double check to see if both the minimap and the game capture you use are both aligned by their upper left corners and be sure to select the group they're both in first before repositioning them or move them individually and then realign their upper left corners again. If you find that your minimap is too small, click and drag the corners in order to resize it. I recommend you do this via the group setting itself to resize both the image source and the game capture together so that they remain calibrated slash aligned. If your minimap is missing, even if you have the image source set up, be sure to check if your image source is on top of your game capture source in the group. If you have any further questions, please refer to the guide in the description or leave your question down in the comment section below and I will do my best to help you from there.